Do you know the most advanced aircraft carrier in the world? It takes hundreds of thousands of man hours, generations of experience, years of planning, and constant determination to build an aircraft carrier. CVN-78, or USS Gerald R. Ford, is the product of years of construction, and before that, decades of design and planning. Around thousands of suppliers across the United States and 5,000 shipbuilders in Newport News contribute to this first-in-class ship. Hello, everyone. Welcome back again. Today, we are about to discuss the most advanced aircraft carrier in the world. So let's get going. The USS Gerald R. Ford is a $13 billion futuristic ship, complete with a new electromagnetic system and a massive flight deck to launch aircraft. The operational system and state-of-the-art tech means aircraft will be able to take off faster to get to the fight quicker. At 1,100 feet, the new Ford carrier is about the size of three football fields. This carrier is named after former U.S. President Gerald R. Ford to pay tribute to his lifetime of service to the nation and the Navy and the U.S. government. During the times of World War II, Ford was a Navy lieutenant commander serving on the light carrier USS Monteria, the class, with a planned total of 10 ships who replaced the Navy's current carriers on a one-for-one -one basis, starting with the lead ship, Gerald R. Ford replacing Enterprise, and then eventually taking the place of the existing Nimitz-class carriers. The new vessels have a hull just like the Nimitz-class, but introduced technology since developed with the CVNX or CVN-21 program, such as the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, as well as other design features intended to improve efficiency and reduce operating costs, including sailing with smaller crews. That's why the combat system ship qualifications trials are an important step to be sure the warship can defend itself against a variety of threats, such as drones and missiles. So, what type of defense systems does this new carrier have? Well, the Navy's flagship USS Ford aircraft carrier attacked and destroyed enemy rocket-propelled drones, aircraft and surface threats with interceptor missiles, sensors, and other ship defenses in a series of warfare preparation exercises designed to move the ship closer to major maritime warfare. In the Atlantic Ocean, the Ford recently completed what's called Combat System Ship Squadification Trials, Sea Squad, a combat preparation phase involving simulated and actual live threats to assess the extent to which a large four-class carrier could defend itself in a great power ocean war scenario. The USS Ford faced off against rocket-propelled drones capable of speeds in excess of 600 miles per hour, towed drone units that simulate rockets, and remote-controlled high-speed maneuvering service targets. Demonstrating this kind of defense capability is both timely and extremely significant from a tactical perspective, given ongoing discussions about the potential vulnerability of aircraft carriers in an increasingly high-tech major power threat environment. Still, much of the discussion, which is largely based around the existence of extremely long-range Chinese carrier-killer anti-ship missiles, regularly seems to overlook the growing technology sophistication of layered ship defense systems. Fresher kinds of integrated sensor networking, long-range ship-based radar, and things like artificial intelligence-enabled targeting technology, or even emerging laser weapons, are fast changing the equation when it comes to protecting carriers and other larger surface ships at sea. The recent Sea Squad, as it's called, seems specifically directed towards preparing the Ford for an entirely new sphere of enemy attacks, using recently upgraded systems such as the Rolling Air Frame Missile, Evolved Sea Sparrow Missiles, and the MK-15 Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, SeaWiz, to fire armor-piercing tungsten bullets, according to the Navy report. The crew crushed it. Firing off four missiles consists of two RIM-116 and two ESSM, and all of them were conducted with precision control by Combat Direction Center watch teams. They executed perfectly. Intriguingly, some of the specific ship defense weapons mentioned in the Navy report have gone through significant upgrades in recent years. This is part of an effort entirely aligned with the Navy's multi-year effort to better arm its surface fleet with weapons able to destroy highly sophisticated enemies amid open ocean or blue water maritime combat. The now combat-ready upgraded Sea Spell ESSM Block II missile, for instance, is engineered with a special sea skimming mode enabling the interceptor to descend close to the surface to destroy enemy anti-ship missiles traveling parallel to the ocean just above the water. Instead of operating with an entirely upward trajectory, the ESSM Block II can skim across the surface to take out an entirely new sphere of attacking enemy threats. The Navy Sea Whiz was, as mentioned, also used in the combat qualifications, another weapon which has undergone substantial upgrades in recent years. The Sea Whiz system, 
which fires hundreds of small metal projectiles a minute towards incoming threats, such as enemy drones, missiles, or helicopters, has historically operated primarily as a counter-air weapon. However, as far back as six years ago, the Navy has been working on a 1B Sea Wiz variant, able to track and destroy approaching surface threats, such as swarming small boats or even some approaching enemy missiles. The upgrades greatly expand the ship's defensive mission envelope to fight off newer kinds of attacks. Sea Wiz is a last line of defense, meaning it is expected to be used when other longer range elements of a ship's layered system are no longer effective. According to a report, sailors aboard the aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN 78, successfully completed Combat Systems Ships Qualification Trials, C Squad, on April 16, 2021 represent a major milestone in validating the ship's capability to defend itself and the crew. The trials, which commenced in February, consisted of five phases. The completion of the final phase, 2C and C Squad overall, is the accumulation of years of planning, training, ingenuity, and thousands of working hours for the ship's current and previous crews. Furthermore, key components of the CVN Ship Self-Defense System, ICS, include dual-band radar, DBR, Ship Self-Defense System, Cooperative Engagement Capability, CEC, Evolve Sea Spell Missile, ESSM, and Rolling Airframe Missile. DBR search for, locate, and track the target, and subsequently provided radar illumination to the ESSM to support missile guidance. The CEC, which provides a single integrated air picture, using data from multiple sensors to improve track accuracy, processed the data from the Ship Self-Defense System which then passed launch commands to the missile and scheduled DBR support for the engagement. In the final stage, the ESSM successfully engaged and defeated the target. This integrated combat system success brings Ford one step closer to operational testing and deployment. On January 2019, the U.S. Navy awarded a CVN-78 accepted its first advanced weapons elevator, AWE, a few months ago, which can allow it to move up to 24,000 pounds of ordnance at 150 feet per minute. So, carriers are often protected by destroyers and other warships traveling in a carrier strike group. Yet they are also themselves progressively being prepared as platforms capable of heavy combat on the open oceans with innovative technology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Till then, be safe and stay well.